working on weight and then also working on the common call. Um, when we're working on weight, what it is, is I have Ruby sit, good girl, and I use my hands almost as a line that I draw. It's kind of a line that I don't want her to pass. And I say, Ruby, wait. And then that's when I can back up a few steps and then call her to come to me. So wait is different than stay because with stay, we want our puppy to stay in the same spot. But when we move away or when we add duration, we want to come back and treat and give affection. Whereas with wait, I tell Ruby to wait, I back up or I give duration or whatever, and then I want her to come to me in the end to get her treat and her affection. So wait, she comes to me, with stay, I go to, I go to her. All right, Ruby, wait, sit, good, wait, I draw my invisible line, wait, back up a few steps. Ruby, come here, good girl, good girl. So remember, when you're working on common call, I like to get down on their level, have my treat in my hands right next to my body. That way Ruby is immediately going right next to me where my hand is, okay? Come here, Ruby, let's try again. Ready, sit, wait, ah, wait. Come here, Ruby, good girl, good girl. So you saw? Um, as soon as Ruby starts to get up out of position, if I haven't given her the come and call or her release word, she needs to stay in that position. If she starts to move, do your no noise, I go eh, eh, eh. Or you can say a no word, you can say wrong or try again. And that way that's letting her know that she's not doing what we want her to do and she needs to go right back into that spot. Come here, good girl, sit. Good, wait. You want to make sure you give the correction automatically if they get up from their position. Good girl! Good girl, Ruby! So remember, lots of love and affection as well as that delicious treat. Good job! So when we're using the weight, this is giving them the line that we're drawing that they can't pass until we give them permission to with the come and call. So, when I tell her to wait, and then I back up, I'm giving her that space and making sure that she's going to keep that position. Ah, ah, ah. Come here. Sit. Wait. So I immediately pull her back into her spot. Sit up. Pull her back into her spot and start over. It's important that you start over because she doesn't want to get any headway if she's not doing exactly what we're asking, if she's not doing the command. Uh uh. Good girl. Wait. Come here, Good girl. Good girl. So remember with the coming call, not only are we going to get down closer on that level and pull our hand up to our side, but we're going to have a happy, excited voice and say, ah! and she's going to get excited. Um, remember, the higher the voice, the more excited they get. And plus, you know, they, if we're down on their level, they know that as soon as they get to us, they're getting that love and affection, they're getting the pet. Yeah. And they're also getting something delicious to eat on. Good girl. So you want to make sure that every time you do the come and call, our puppies come. So get down on their level, treat next to your body. As soon as they get there, they get nice love and affection as well as the treats. Make sure you got a happy, happy, happy voice. Up. Come on. Girl, sit. Wait. Take a few steps back. After a while, you're going to be able to go in a circle, add distractions. She's doing very good. Here you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. So Ruby is doing really, really well in this environment. You want to practice places that she might have a few distractions. So um, practice in the yard with the leash. Just having her go back and forth doing the weight, making sure you back up all the way through the leash, and then having her come to you. Distractions are always going to help, plus it gives our puppy a challenge, especially since in life there are always distractions. So it's good to have that while you're training. Okay? So this is Stephanie and Ruby, and we are working on the weight.